Hi, I'm Roger Blumenthal, Professor of Medicine and Director of the Johns Hopkins Chikoroni Center for Prevention of Heart Disease. I'm very pleased on behalf of my colleague and co-chairman, Dr. Chris Cannon from Boston, to welcome you to the first uh, session of CardioCare Live. I'm here with my good friend and colleague, Dr. Matthew Weir, who's Professor and Director of uh, Nephrology at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here and a pleasure to discuss a, a vexing problem that we all have to face periodically in our practice, and that is the issue of resistant hypertension, renal function decline. Now, we're nearing the end, but several people have expressed concern about adding an aldo blocker on top of an ACE or an ARB. And what level of potassium do you tend to tolerate um, before you um, either cut back or, or just use one of those agents? And are there any tricks of the trade on how to deal with potassiums in the six range? Right. Let me first say that in resistant hypertensives, okay, it is very rare to develop hyperkalemia when you add an aldo blocker to full dose of ACE or ARB. Okay. Very unusual, which I think underscores the point I made earlier that aldo excess is so prominent a problem in these people. And if anything, their potassiums tend to be lower rather than higher. As far as adding an aldo blocker to an ACE or an ARB, you got to be careful. Uh, I would plan on a minimum of a 0.5 increase in serum potassium. So if you are four and a half, you're going to be five. If you're five, you're going to be five and a half. Um, I will tolerate under six quite comfortably in my patients with the caveat that they are aware that they will not use over-the-counter non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or prescription NSAIDs, salt substitutes, or take any uh, over-the-counter remedies without checking with me first. And I'm very, uh, st you know, stren strenuous with them in saying acetaminophen only for pain period. And then, of course, obviously, if they develop a gastrointestinal illness, upper respiratory tract illness, can't keep up with their fluids, stop all the medications and contact me.